Okay, we are recording now. Welcome everybody for our yoga and mindfulness class on Wednesday night. Today we are, I have picked discernment for us. The Phoenix Rising process has different steps and not one is separated from the other. All work with each other, so it doesn't really matter which one we choose, there's always the baseline of the awareness. We, we are creating awareness for ourselves as we move. We create awareness to how we move and how we do what we do and how the breath is connecting to the body. So that is the baseline of, I think, every philosophy we can look at where we have to have the awareness first in order to understand something about us and the world and to understand that we can make a difference. As we have the awareness, we, we get to the place, especially when we move with our bodies, to accept what we notice. Or notice that we cannot really accept what we notice and be okay with that too. So becoming the observer or the witness of our process on the yoga mat without being the judge or, or without wanting to do anything different at the moment, but rather being in the present moment to to notice what, how you are accepting or not. And from this place of acceptance comes that we have a choice. That's what we had last week in the practice a little more of, but it will again uh, be moving into this week's practice too. That as I move and as I practice, you know, what choices do I make? How far do I go into a pasture or not? Where, do, where does my mind go? and what choices do I make if I let it go? If I go on my roller coaster thoughts, it's a choice I can make. But if I have the awareness to notice that my mind is doing this, then I come back and can say my choice for now is I don't want to go there. I can, if I want to, I can label my, my ongoing thoughts as thinking and come back to the next breath. When we move, when we bring uh, discernment into the picture, into the awareness part of our practice, it's a little, it's a step up from just the choice because you know there's always a choice to do this way, go this way, or go this way. Discernment is the skill to notice the difference between the things we choose. Quite a powerful step up from just letting the choices rule our life. And there is one. Example, I just want to watch the time that I'm not talking too much. Um, if you have a, a real camera, like a whatever camera, not an iPhone, but a camera where you can zoom in, you know, where you can choose, you go out, you want to take a picture of the landscape and you have your camera and you look out and you want to just take a picture of the landscape. And as you look through the lens, you, you notice perhaps a tree in the middle and you think, that moment oh wow i like that tree i would actually really like to take a picture of that tree that's discernment you are not just clicking and you are shooting the whole thing you are choosing something that caught your attention you discern to take a picture of the tree instead of the whole landscape so there is a subtle difference in just choosing something and be done with it or discerning what is it what I want to choose what do I want to have from that picture or from that experience I do today and the same is also when you well I don't want to talk too much about I guess you you know what discernment means but when a child as a child when we learn well we don't learn to eat ice cream but suddenly someone gives us ice cream <laughs> and so we eat <laughs> we eat the ice cream and have no idea we only know we eat ice cream because our mom might have said this is ice cream. So we are licking the ice cream, but we don't know yet that it has different flavors. The next awareness as a child, when we get with ice cream again, we might notice, oh, this was chocolate and this was vanilla. Because maybe first we were told, but second we taste the difference. That's, then we started to discern to say, hmm, chocolate is the better choice for me today. Today I want to have chocolate. So we are on a level of discernment. We grew up from just picking something and doing it to choosing what that could be. And if you later on, now everybody wants to eat ice cream tonight. <laughs> later no. on, the next level of discernment would be, and I don't know if you are discerned like this when it comes to ice cream, um, without looking at the char, is it Ben and Cherry 
or is it pagan dust or any other thing you know to notice the difference of what i put in my nose by discerning is different than just looking at the chart so as we go through the practice this is what i hope to uh, help you a little bit with to notice the fine differences we make in how we choose and bottom line is when we practice with discernment in mind we want to always look at what is my intention for my life? What do I want to create in my life? We do that in a moment, with the moment we are in right now. And does what I choose in this moment of practice support what I want in life or not? That's discernment. And if we can move towards saying, wow, I'm on autopilot in a certain way of doing things, that's not necessarily what gives you the life you want to live. But if we can understand and learn to see, oh, there is an autopilot reaction, there is something, I have always moved this way. Why, why would I do it differently? That's not the experience that lets us grow. The experience we grow with is the one where we make wise choices. And that's actually what I wrote on my little poster. And I wrote that actually in a blog post, Laura, for your site. And I just wrote it and someone picked it and I thought it's actually pretty nice, <laughs> pretty cool. How do we choose was the question I asked. Discernment is the golden skill to own or the golden key to own. This, discern this discernment, we can make wise choices. So this is what I have to say about discernment today and I invite you to use it throughout our practice today and wanted to start with a little warm up so we get out of our bodies before we get back to sit again. So I think it's everybody sitting, wherever you are sitting, chair or Nina, I see you on the floor, Nina. Yeah, yeah. I'm sitting on the ground. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Just as we get up and stand, if you have a chair, make sure you have it there if you want that. And if you're on the floor, that's equally fine. So let's just get up for a moment to standing. And as I said, we will be just doing a few gentle warm-up movements to get us into our body where there is not much you can do right or wrong, but just letting your body move, standing with your feet hip width apart. And just with soft knees, start swinging your body. That's a simple thing everybody can do. Just swing your body. Oh, I wanted to unmute you now. Sorry, I didn't say that. Can I do that? We'll see. Yeah, if you are not back there, I'd be only for people. So just swing your body. You remember the boundary swing, but I'm not going into boundaries today. I just want you to let your arms fly from one side to the other and feel how this lets your rib cage move, your shoulders move. Let your arms swing. Don't make it anything that it's not. You can close your eyes, open your eyes, go to one side, breathe out, out. If you like, you can do the half breath. And you can come higher with your arms. You can even lift one foot off the floor when you turn to the side, if that is something you want to do. As you swing now, lift your arms up, your lower arms up, so you have your elbows swinging. And let the elbows swing from one side to the other. Ha, ha, ha. I always like to breathe out with the ha breath to make the movement a little more vigorously and then I let my elbows go again and my arms fly like they did when you started out. Slowly come down with your arms. Kind of let the movement slow down on its own without you being engaged with it. Just noticing if you don't do anything now, the movement will stop and you will be just standing in stillness. If you like, close your eyes for a moment. Notice yourself standing. Notice your body now as it has moved a little bit. Notice energy that is in your body as whatever it is. Notice the next breath come in and out. Notice it again. Invite it to be a little deeper. But still comfortable. No, nothing right or wrong to do. Just noticing the breath. And let the breath go 
let it just come and go as it wants to. And let's do the monkey stretch where we open our sides a little bit. One hand goes under your armpit, the other hand goes down to the floor and then you switch it around. Simple side stretch. That's wonderful to do when we were sitting all day and haven't really moved the side body and haven't really turned it any way. And then you can exhale. Ha! 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 And that's your choice. You can breathe however it feels right. I always invite to breathe out through the mouth. So it's a little deeper, a little more vigorously and keep going a little longer in the way that feels right for you as slow or as uh, fast as you feel right. So you feel your side body move. Ha. 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 And the next side you are down on one side, it doesn't matter which side. Stay there, stretch the opposite arm up to the ceiling. And if you like, look up, feel yourself grow tall with the upper hand. Feel that one side grow really tall. Exhale. And with the inhale, bring all both arms up in a steeple position and look up. And with the exhale, bring your arms back down and let the arms hang, stand in stillness. Again, notice standing still. That's all. Notice your breath. And we do one more round of the monkey stretch. Just go, next time you go up with one arm, just go the opposite side you just did. So you start, exhale. Ha. 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 And again, go as deep or as slow as it feels right. Just get your body moving. I love to get my body moving to get it out of the position it was in all day long. Ha. Ha. A few times. Ha. Ha. And the next time you are up with the opposite arm, you just go up, stretch the opposite arm up and stay up there. Look up if you like, feel the tallness on that one side and feel how does your body respond to that stretch, just in one thought. And exhale. And with the next ex inhale, bring both arms up, let them meet up there. Look up, be tall. And with the exhale, circle your arms back down and let yourself again come to a moment of standing still, of noticing your breath. And for a moment as you stand now, check in with your body. What relationship do you have with your body in this moment? How does it feel? How does your body respond to the movement? What do you notice? Always remembering there's nothing right or wrong in what we notice. It's an awareness we have towards what we just did. And bringing the awareness back to the breath. Do one more movement to keep us even a little more engaged with the body. Feet under your hips, knees lightly bent. Three part breath, arms go up, go to the side, go all the way up and if you choose you can look up and you swing it down. That's the three part breath. That means, Inhale, one sip, second sip, full lungs, and ha. And we don't go deep right now. And then in your own time, in, 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 and ha. In, 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 and ha. So it's just one ha and one in. Ha. Ha. And next time you are all the way up, stay with the full lungs for a moment, and then let it go. In your own time. Simple, it's easy, it's a wonderful wake-up call in the morning for the body. It's a wonderful tool to let go of the body, to reset the body to not be so tired, if it was tired. One more time. Next time you go all the way down, feel your hands kind of touch the floor or touch your legs, it doesn't matter. Bend your knees enough so it's not at all a challenge. It's just a hanging forward. Exhale. Notice hanging forward and prepare with one inhalation to roll your spine up. One deep breath rolls your spine up until your hands go all the way up to the ceiling. 
That's a full breath. And with an exhalation, bring your arms back down and bring them to Namaste. Close your eyes if this is comfortable. And again, get to know yourself standing still. Get to know yourself breathing, observing your breath into this stillness. And as we stay for a moment, observe what that means for you to stand still. What comes up in your mind about not doing anything now, just observing, just being the observer. And as you do that, reflect for one moment on your life, how does standing still or being still show up in your life or not? Again, nothing right or wrong about this observation, just the thought of the question, the inquiry. How is being in stillness part of my day or not? Accept the answer you receive. Don't have to do anything with it right now. Bring in another deep breath. And with the exhalation, let your hands go. Open your eyes and come to a moment of sitting, wherever you want to sit. Whatever you choose to sit and sit for about three to five minutes. In a comfortable position. And just let me ask you if someone hasn't, I think Nina, you have not uh, unmuted yourself. Can you go to the computer and put the, the little microphone? Mm. Yes, this means only I can be heard and we have no background noises in the room. And if we later on want to speak, we can. We do that. So we just right now, it doesn't even matter that you see me or that we see each other. This is not a practice of looking and copying and doing. This is a practice of being present in the moment to ourselves and as often as possible with the eyes closed. So we'll be sitting for a moment in an upright position. Choose a position for your hands where they either lay on your lap or a meditation position you like, just focus on not needing to hold anything in your hands. Sometimes we hold something in our hands without that there is anything in them. That means it's the gesture of the mind holding. Let that go for now. Just let your hands relax wherever they are and close your eyes and come to observe your breath. Just notice inhaling and exhaling. For a few breaths, be with yourself in this observation of the breath moving in and out. Start getting curious about where do you feel the breath? What changes in your body as you inhale? And how does it affect my body when I exhale? Be curious, come with a beginner's mind and notice what you notice. Accept what you notice with each breath. There's nothing you can do right or wrong or better or deeper. It's just what it is in this moment. And start to discern between the observation of your inhalation. How does that feel? What do you notice with your inhalation? And how does your exhalation feel? Is there a difference in noticing, in feeling, in the sensation of the breath? 
that might be a difference or you might not notice anything and that's both fine. Make the next breath a little deeper, a deeper inhalation. followed by a longer exhalation. And look again with curiosity, how does that feel when you breathe deeper? And play a little longer with the breath, just a few more breaths, by letting the exhalation flow out through your mouth. And perhaps even Breathe in through your mouth one or two times, only to notice the difference, to tune yourself into noticing the difference between different actions you take. That's discernment, to notice the difference between, ah, when I breathe in through my mouth, it feels like this. When I do it through my, when I breathe out through my mouth, it feels like this. And as you do that, let yourself move away from labeling it. Do it as a practice of getting to know yourself and getting to know what feels in a certain way as you do it. And with the next exhalation, let this go. And with the next inhalation, come to observe your body as it is sitting here today. Notice the floor underneath you. Notice what part of your body touches the floor. Get curious about noticing if the floor feels like it's supporting you. Do you notice you are supported by the floor underneath you or not quite sure? And whatever that is, accept it for what it is. No need to change it and start scanning through your body by starting at your feet, kind of traveling in your mind's eyes through your body, all the way through your lower legs and knees, upper body, uh, upper legs, to where you know and feel that your body, your upper body is connected to the lower body. Stay there for a breath. Any tension in your legs that you notice? Any tension in the hips you are sitting on, in your lower body, or any discomfort? Just scanning. As you keep breathing, scan up through your torso with the same inquiry. How does it feel, front, back of my body, when I come up to my shoulders? How do I feel my shoulders today? You can even start moving them very lightly just so you notice your shoulders, any tension there, left or right, any tension anywhere else. Scanning from your shoulders down your arms, lower arms to your hands, the tips of your fingers. How do they feel today? Do you feel them as relaxed? your hands and fingers, or not so, not so sure. Again, each inquiry is what it is in this moment. We accept it for, for that. No need to change anything. Travel up in your mind's eye towards where you know and feel your neck on top of your shoulders. Notice how your neck supports your head. If you feel your head on top of your shoulders, notice your skull from the back of your neck. Move up over your skull, down all the way up towards your forehead. Notice that. If you put a little head on your head, that's how much you want to notice your head and your skull. And from the forehead, Move sideways towards your ears, right and left. Notice where your ears connect to your head. Any tension in your skull? 
and notice your face, your face, facial features. Do your lips touch or not? Where's your tongue? Can you feel your breath travel down your throat in the inside? And if not, pay attention for a moment until you feel the breath touch your throat. Right there, where words come out and where we drink, when we drink or eat something, it goes down our throat into our torso. Right there, be sensitive for a moment to notice the inhale and notice the exhale. Any tension you discover there in your throat or back of your mouth or not. And as you keep breathing, invite this place, this space in your body to become increasingly softer. Letting go of any holding in your throat to whatever extent this is possible. Letting then go with the next exhalation of observing the body and have a moment now to bring your awareness to your life, your life's situation, what comes to mind when you think about the life you left behind just a few moments ago when you stepped on the mat or from your day, from the beginning of the day or even your whole life? And be curious where your mind goes to, what pops up? What questions are you pondering? What feelings, what sensations? Perhaps what memories? Just allow yourself to look for a moment at that what comes up to your mind without the need to change anything. It's just getting to know yourself in this moment as you are present in the moment and not in an autopilot situation where you do what you do because you know how to. This is not sitting still and meditating. It is coming home to yourself and noticing moment to moment. And whatever you noticed about your life, let that go with the next exhalation. And I invite you to bring one hand onto your heart center. If you feel better, if it feels better to have both hands, that's another choice. There's not one thing right or wrong. It can be one hand or both hands on your heart center. And notice the touch of your hand to your chest. Notice as you breathe how your, your breath touches your hand. And let that happen for a few times, noticing your body, receiving your breath and the presence of your mind as you do so. The mind is not wandering off in the next breath. Maybe after a few breaths it does. But become aware of how you can be in the present moment by observing one breath. And from you have gathered about your body, any tension that you might have, that you might know about or that you became aware of. And from your life, whatever the information is there, ask yourself, what is it that you want to create in your life by doing this practice today? What are you curious about, looking for? And let your body also answer to your hand what your body needs today from your practice. How does your body want to feel? What could you give to your body to make it feel that way? And as you reflect on this inquiry, try to discern more carefully between what you want and what you not want. Discern more carefully between these two choices of what you want and not want. 
and let yourself guide yourself through the process of discerning towards doing what your body wants and what you want in your life, what you want to create. With the next exhalation, let that inquiry go. And let this, what you came up with, what your information was, be your intention for the practice today. The intention of how you want to be with yourself in this practice. Like that note we write and put it in our imaginary back pocket. Just something to take with you throughout this practice. This is how I want to feel. And with the next exhalation, letting the hands lie down onto your lap, noticing hands down, noticing sitting, noticing yourself in the room, opening the eyes and coming out of your seated position into an all fours position. So you're coming onto your hands and knees, like cat cow position. So don't copy me, I'm not doing it. You are coming onto your hands and knees. And you notice yourself on your hands and knees. Just pay attention that your hands are under your shoulders and about shoulder width apart. And look at your knees that they are below your hips so that the distance between your hands and your knees is not too narrow. Let your knees be under your hips, also hip width apart. Let your feet relax or curl your toes under whatever feels right. Notice yourself, shift the weight a little bit forward and a little bit back. So you notice, ah, now more weight on my hands. And then you shift it back and you have a little more weight on your knees. Just play a little bit with that experience of shifting your weight. And then letting that go and have the weight kind of evenly distributed between your hands and your knee. In all fours position. Roll your spine up like you are making a big cat movement, like the Halloween cat. You make a really round spine, like you want to have your spine touch the ceiling and you want to have your head hang down. Breathe out. And with the inhalation, reverse the movement going to a cow stretch. Let the spine sink through. Roll your shoulders away and look out. Feel the difference in your body. Inhale. With the exhale, roll up and make a really round back. And as you're up there, hug your belly button up towards your lumbar and come into the movement connected to the breath. You breathe in, into the cow stretch. Simple movement. But be present to what you do and breathe out, go to the cat. Let the head hang down. Wait a moment before the next inhalation comes and with the inhalation, go back. Go in your own rhythm as much as you can, making the breath deep in both ways. The inhalation and the exhalation. One more. After you have done your last or next cow stretch, come to a neutral position, like in between position, and shift with your hips back towards your heels. So you get to sit on your heels with the forehead down to the floor if that is possible. Make sure that your feet don't cramp if you want to curl your toes under. You can have your hands outstretched or you can put your hands on top of each other and put them under your forehead. So you're in child's pose, letting your body hang forward for a moment, for a breath or two, really releasing with the exhalation any holding in your body. One more deep breath in. Notice how the breath touches your thighs. And a deep breath out. Nice. With the next inhalation, come forward into all fours position again. So you're coming forward on your hand, curl your toes under, and with the exhalation, lift your hips up to the ceiling so you're in your hands and feet, not on your knees. So you lift the buttocks up to the ceiling like what most of us know as down dog pose. And as you're up there, walk with your feet towards your hand hands into a forward fold. Walk with your feet as far forward as you can till your feet are under your eyes, you see your toes, and hang forward from your hips. You can bend your knees as much as needed. Hang forward and now swing a little bit 
from one side to the other. Can you let the hands go? Notice yourself swinging and breathing. And let that movement go. Till it's still again and breathe out. And with another deep inhalation, roll your spine up to standing with the hands all the way up to the ceiling and looking up. That's your full inhalation when you're all the way up. And with the exhalation, come back to standing with the hands in Namaste. Another breath, just standing, noticing standing. And we will now do the three part breath again, but this time we are imagining we have buckets in our hand, two buckets in each hand, one that we are lifting up to the ceiling. And as we swing down, we let everything go in the buckets that we don't need in our life anymore. So what we do, feet hip width apart, gentle in your knees, that means not locked in the knees. The three part breath was the three sips we take in when we go up. And next time when we exhale, you swing all the way down and swing with your hands through the floor, like you touch the floor and let these buckets swing back, these imaginary buckets. Put in the buckets what you don't need in your life anymore. Pick one thing or two things or more of what you are aware of, what you don't need right now. Then let go. Exhale. In. In. Full breath is in, hold it and ha. Come up. In. In. Full breath, imagine the bucket is full and you let it go when you go out. Let the breath be deep. As deep as you like is a ha sound. Do it a few times. Always a full breath up here and enjoy letting everything go with the exhalation. It might be just that you want to let go of physical sensations or physical stresses or anything else. Go a few times in your own that the deep breath is up there and the exhalation is down there. Swing yourself into a motion, into a movement that's fulfilled on the top with a little pause and a letting go at the bottom. Do one more and the moment you are up there and you dive down this letting go, stay down there. Hang down there for another moment when everything stops and you become still again. Let the head hang and notice any tendencies in your body where you are not relaxing, where you are not letting go. Like often it is the neck or the shoulders in a forward hang. Deep breath in, deep breath out. With the next inhalation, slowly lift up. Roll up till your hands reach the sky again. All the way up, look up. And with the exhalation, come back down. You can have the hands next to your body or in namaste position for a very brief moment of standing still, observing how your body feels, noticing the connection between your body and your breath. Reflect for a moment on the few movements we did, how your body was moving with you, and look at what choices you made in terms of how far did you move, how quickly did you move, or how slowly. And just become aware of the choices you make in every little step we go as we practice. Let your hands go. Uh, your feet go in a hip width position if you had them closed and let your right hand reach up to the ceiling. Let it fold over to your ear, your left ear. Find the opposite hand on your thigh, kind of just touching your thigh there and slowly lift your ear over to the side, away from the long hand. Kind of uh, to a place Remembering the edge that feels like a stretch in your neck, but not that far, not that much. Remember the scale of 10 
don't go to a 10 right away and if you did come back a little bit and let the opposite hand that's down on your thigh now move against it so there's a gentle stretch down your thigh with the lower hand and this gentle stretch with your upper hand on your ear creating a stretch in your neck and i invite you to stay here for a breath or a few breaths paying attention to the edge you have chosen how deep did you go and does it serve you in this moment is this what feels right for your body and come in this observation with the discernment of it noticing the difference when you do a little more or a little less and in this simple movement develop that skill of discernment what a little more or a little less could do for you And as you keep breathing, breathe deeply. Observe, is it easy for me to accept the edge I have? Can I move out a little bit or even out if I need to? What language is in my head about the sensations I feel? Notice what you notice, accept what you notice. And with the next breath, let it go. And slowly breathing out. With the inhalation, we move out of the position by letting the arms go back down and coming to standing. Often it's in the aftermath, after we have moved and we stand in stillness, that we receive information about the feelings in our body, the sensations, the edges we have, and we get to look at how we choose what we choose taking in a deep breath and letting it go let the other arm find its way up to the ceiling make yourself tall feel the opposite hand on your thigh fold over just stand kind of familiarizing yourself with this quite simple movement breathing in and with a long out breath, start moving the ear over towards your shoulder and help with your hand to create that first stretch on this side. And balance the stretch with the long arm, your right arm reaching down on your thigh and your upper arm moving the ear away. Look at this stretch. What does it feel like? What's your neck doing? What's your shoulder doing? And come with that curious eye, with the eye of the observer, and play with your edge. Can you? Can you come out a little bit if this feels too much or not? Can you accept your edge? And right here, as you stay for three more breaths, if possible, honor what is true for you in this moment. As you honor what's true for you by coming in or out a little bit, bit more, understand that this keeps what's true for us to the surface. It brings it to the surface. How we are with these movements as we move deep in the edge or out of the edge. One more breath. Look that your edge is about at a five or six. And if it's more, move out. If it's less, move in. Play with it for one more breath and notice. And with the next inhalation, we see release yourself out of the posture and let the arms go down, letting go. Standing in stillness for a reflection, one breath or two, just noticing how you do what you do. It's your own reflection about yourself about what you notice about yourself. Now let your knees bend quite a bit like you are sitting on a bar stool. Sometimes it's like when you ski, you know when you ski down the hill, you kind of lean with your knees forward and you sit with your sit bones down. 
till your thighs feel like, oh, wow, they, they have a little work to do with this. Put your arms out to the side while you stay in your bus, bus chair <laughs> position, while you're sitting on that imaginary chair and lift your arms up to the ceiling. Let your palms look at each other and imagine that chair is a little bit further back. So you get a little bit further back, a little bit more on your heels than on your toes. And you stretch your arms out to the ceiling. Okay, keep your ears next to your arms. Stay for three breaths in this position that is called the chair. Keep playing with your knees to bend a little more. If it's possible, let the buttocks sink back a little more. Let the arms reach out and notice how the breath feels in your throat. Is the breath flowing? What's challenging? Notice what is challenging for me in this position. And with the next breath, see that you can create an edge that's tolerable for you, that's just right. Again, discerning what is the difference between a little more and a little less. What's the struggle? Where am I struggling? Can I ease out enough to not make it into a struggle? So the edge is not too high? Or do I maybe even have to come out of the position because I'm on the edge already? Can I accept that? One more breath. And with the next exhale, inhalation, stretching yourself all the way up one more time. And with the exhalation, releasing the arms down for a breath standing still. What's happening now? Notice body, breath, sensations, emotions. How do you feel about being with your body the way you are? Are you listening to the, that what your body needs today? Or not? Just be curious. Any answer is right, no right or wrong, no good or bad. It's just about you and your awareness. And let any inquiry go with the next exhalation. Coming to stand that you have space in front of you. So if you make a step forward that you have the space. I think it's in here. You all know lunge pose, so we want to go towards a lunge pose. So that's the space you need. You make your one step forward and one step back. And then you bend the front knee, turn the back foot around and come down to a lunge position. Where your hands are next to your front thigh, uh, front foot, sorry, front, not thigh, <laughs> front foot. And the back leg is stretched far back and you see if you can stretch the back leg away from the front leg. Think of that your back heel wants to move gently to the back of your mat while your front knee gently moves away. So you're kind of stretching yourself a little farther away. You can have your hands on your fingertips, on your fists or on your palms, whatever works, standing in lunge pose for a breath or two. Breathing in and with the exhalation, moving the back heel lightly away from the front knee like a rubber band, just stretching a little bit out. As you stand, still in the posture, breathing, paying attention to the breath, notice an edge. Is there an edge in this posture, in your body, or in your mind, or in your breath? And take in a deep breath. And prepare yourself to now slowly crown the back heel to the floor so you can lift yourself up in an upright position while the front knee stays bent. Front knee stays bent, back leg is long, arms go out to the front and to the back. Warrior position. Dive down with your front thigh towards not over your edge, just to where it's right. Move the back arm lightly away from the front arm or hand and the front hand away from the 
back arm. You can look to the back hand and look over the front hand. And as you stay for a breath or two, again observe, it's coming up a little easier for you to be or can I go a little deeper? What edge is right for you in this position? As you breathe, taking the edge of the ten if it's there, accepting an edge that's right for you. One more breath. Bringing the back arm now forward towards the front arm, turning the back leg back and you come into your lunge position again. Where we started out. Breathing in to your lunge position and breathing out, lengthening the front leg and stepping the back leg forward so you come into a forward fold. Like, ah, you can let everything go in the forward fold. And with an inhalation, lifting yourself up, rolling your spine up one vertebra after the other, arms go to the ceiling. Exhaling down, namaste. One breath in stillness. Stepping the other leg forward, the one you didn't have forward. Crowning the back leg again towards the floor, turning your torso to, to the front foot, turning the heel of the back leg, bending the front knee, going forward into your lunge position again, just like we did earlier. And you can always slide with your back leg a little bit further back if that is needed. So you can look for the front knee being on top of your front heel. Once you have that position, get into your breath. Get into the awareness of your breath. Each breath, allow yourself to move the back heel ever so lightly away from the front knee so you feel a deeper stretch perhaps in your groin area. And as you're holding for three breaths, Notice the edge on a scale of 10. How far are you in it? Notice the choices you make. How could you make a difference? So your edge is right. You could bend the back knee. You don't have to go that far. Just one more breath. And with the exhalation, preparing yourself to ground the back leg again to the floor so you can lift yourself up to a standing position. With the front knee, bend the back leg long, arms up. Now it's the other leg in front, looking for the front hand, looking for the back hand. Just kind of wanting them to be in one line and looking out for the front hand again. Diving deeply down with the front leg and deeply means to your edge, not further. Play. Allow the edge to be just right, like salt and pepper in a stew. Just the right amount of spice. And for the next breath, observe if this is something you do for yourself. Or are you doing more or less? what's happening in your mind as you observe that. And now, one more breath. Turn both feet forward to look towards the screen so you can step them back under your hips and stand again for a moment in stillness. And you get, you get to lay on your back now. As you get to lay on your back, bend your legs in, hug your legs, wrap your hands around your legs so you can roll from one side to the other. And that's just your own little way of easing out of any effort you had, kind of being with your body in that gentle way where there is for most people no edge, just rolling a little bit from one side to the other, or even forward and back if that feels right. and letting the movement stop. Putting your feet 
on the floor, but keeping your knees bent. Just feel both feet on the floor about hip width apart. Feel your hands next to your body and kind of in a way invite your shoulders to drop down a little bit and notice your head centered in the middle. So you lay with a sense of from your nose to your navel down between your knees is a straight line. Breathe in. Breathe out, notice your body laying still. And with the next inhalation, slowly lift your hips off the floor into the small bridge pose. Lift your hips off to the floor, from the floor, as high up as they want to go. So you are laying on your shoulders and your head and your feet and the hips come up. So you kind of have a line from your knees to your hips to your chest. Lift your chest bone a little bit more so it comes closer towards your chin. And you can have your hands go walk down towards your ankles if they can, or you can have them where they are. And push with your hands a little bit down on the floor so you can lift your hips up a little bit more and push your pubic bone towards the ceiling. Breathe. Notice breathing in, where it goes to, and notice breathing out. One more breath. And with the next out breath, roll one vertebra after the other down to the floor. Hug your legs again. Roll a little bit to wherever it feels right. And in that rolling, let go of any tension, any holding. Just let the body ease out of the movement. Until it feels right, just stretch your legs out on the floor or keep them bent if that feels right for a moment of laying in stillness. Letting the body settle into the floor. In a, imagine with your exhalation, you are letting the body be carried by the earth. There's nothing you need to do. And all you do is observing your breath come in, but it's not you doing it. Imagine there is someone breathing for you. The breath is breathing for you. And with your exhalation, invite your whole body, your bones, your muscles, your cells, your brain even, to relax with each breath. Letting go of any doing. Noticing you are just present to your breath. Touch your body. And you might notice the weight of your body on the floor. Stay with this for a moment. Notice the feeling of your breath. What feeling goes along with the breath? Is there any? Can you let go of getting involved in the breath and just let the breath breathe you? Can you let the breath do for you what your body can receive by not you doing it, but by letting the breath come to your body? Notice a difference. That's discernment. Notice if you are getting involved with the breath and to what extent. And be okay with what you notice. Or notice that you can actually really let go and the breath is just breathing you. Be curious about that.
<clears throat> and bringing your awareness back to your body laying on the floor and in your own time curling rolling over to one side bringing your knees to your chest rolling over to one side however side you'd want to choose and once you have rolled over there, bring your hands into your, notice your hands on the floor and let yourself kind of roll over into an all fours position that almost like automatically rolls you up into another seated position of your choice. Feel yourself sitting. the space underneath you, you are sitting on, like all the way upright, come to an upright position. And if comfortable, close your eyes. And notice yourself sitting. Focus lightly on moving your heart up and your brain down, coming to a heart-centered experience in this moment. And as you sit, think back about the practice today. So anything that stands out, an observation you made about yourself or your body, your breath, how you are with the edge, anything. Just look for a moment. If there is an aha moment, an insight, an awareness, let it be easy. Just be curious. And whatever you noticed, if you noticed anything, does that connect in any way to how you are in your life? Is there a connection between what you noticed in your practice to how you are in your life? Just be curious. And bring your hand or both hands on top of your heart again. Connect to your innermost self that place that's all wise, your higher self or whatever you want to call it or you call it, that place that is non-judgmental and all loving towards yourself. And ask for guidance, like how can I be with what I noticed about myself? How can I be in my life with my intentions? What could I do differently? How could I discern the choices I make? And be gentle with this inquiry and the question you ask to your higher self and look for an answer that might be there for you. And notice if it's not there, if it's a little difficult to do that, then be okay with that too. Keep looking. Keep being curious without being tense. How do I want to show up in my life? What do I want to create in my life with what I noticed about myself? What can I do different as a result? with my next step. Imagine creating and carrying out the next step you want to do tonight, tomorrow, or in your life. And whatever information there was, kind of tuck it or write it onto your little note or write later on into your journal so you can come back to it whenever you need to. Feel the breath, touch your hands. Feel your breath connected to your body.
with the next inhalation, releasing your hands into a namaste position in front of your heart as a gesture of honoring your body, your body's wisdom, the wisdom of your heart, as much as the wisdom of everyone in your life, wisdom of their heart. Namaste. Bringing your awareness slowly back into the room, into a comfortable position. And whenever you are ready, you can unmute yourself. And I'm stop. I stop the recording. Goodbye, everybody who is watching the replay.